very good afternoon my dear student today i will going to discuss about the list as i am discussing about the list that in a list how we can do the program in python panda this is the introduction to python panda under introduction to python panda implementation and utilization of the list in the python panda so in this context i am going to discuss today how we can use the list in the different ways so list in a python panda so in this particular list what we have done here i will going to show you the iterative or traversing through the list so iterative or traversing through a list what is iterating iterating means which will come again and again and traversing to go okay so how can you go how can you call it again and again how can you go through this particular thing and how can you bring uh, the work again and again that particular thing is said to be as an iterating and traversing through a list now when you want to do this as i have discussed you earlier about the loop utilization of the loop and implementation of the loop so what we have to do here we have to bring the loop so you can see here one thing very uh, nicely my dear student that one of the section is related with an other we can skip out that if you don't read this particular section then we can do that one if you don't do this one then we can do the another one no my dear student in python in our syllabus according to the syllabus what the cbsc board has given to us in this syllabus what you will going to find that each of the section is very much related with one another so when you are doing one thing from one particular part of the total section okay so this is this is the thing what we are doing we are doing one part from the total chapter our chapter is introduction to panda so this particular section when we are doing when you go to the next another part there you can see it that you will have going to those utilizations of the things now how see here that here i have called a list this is a list list what the values are there in the list 3 5 and 9 okay 3 5 and 9 is the value in list now what i am saying i will say that i will going to run this one run means in what way to call it again and again so how it is called i have used one loop here have you seen it see it very minutely i have used one loop here in this particular loop what i have taken i have taken one for loop for i in range that means range from where from 0 to length list length means what is the length length of the list up to that much it will going to do now print list list what list i so what is this i this is the i where the i have taken it in the for loop where i have taken it in the for loop this is the i so i have called this i so what i have found it here that there are the output will going to come is what 3 5 and 9 why because from zeroth position this is the zeroth position this is the first position this is the second position okay length of the list length of the list is what originally 3 so 3 means what 0 to 3 we know when we are doing this pattern of work it will going to help, uh, show the value before of that if it is 3 it will show the value up to 2 second position okay if there is a 4 it will show the value up to the third position so accordingly to the thing it will going to get a three position but according to the programming phase there is a zeroth position the address original address value is zeroth position then first position then second position so up to the third position now before the third position it will going to show this value so those the values are been shown here okay so this is how the traversing is done a simple very simple program that i have shown you how to do the traversing i will show you more program
so now you can see that when i have called a python when i have called a python in this particular python what i have given i have to specify some range okay when i am traversing i have to call specify some range see here range the range method is used the for combinations of what for the for loop for traversing and iterative over the list in a python okay so this is the thing the work is been done what is the range the range method basically returns a sequence of integers what are the sequence of the integer that is that is what it builds a sequence of integer from the starting point that means what is the starting point from that starting point of the index to the end of the index it will going to do that means what is the range is then range start and stop then the steps so start means the upper limit start means what start means the upper limit stop means what stop means the lower limit okay and step means what the options this is optional step is an optional that what is the limit should be i will run for default stepping or i will go for one 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 like this isn't it so this is what the thing is so in this particular phase what you see that when i am calling a range when i am introducing a range in a function we can find it that there are the different pattern of sequence of integers are there okay so when we are using the different pattern of sequence of integer there is an end okay there will be the end point and or the stop point the stop value and end value and start value obviously everything we can see that there are some starting value there is some ending value now you see here in this particular uh, section what we can see that there is a what list has been given lst i have named it at lst so lst what lst i have given the name that uh, there is a 10 20 75 83 98 for 84 and 32 then what i have done it i have used one for loop for x in range what is the range len okay len of what lst so len of lst that we will going to take so print lst x so it is printing the particular value what are there in the loop clear why because it is taken from the zeroth position so originally it is from the zeroth position okay it is from the zeroth position till to the how many position is there this is if this is the zeroth this is one this is two this is three this is four this is five and this one is sixth so this is up to the sixth position but when i have asked him to take the length what it is taking it is taking the length is seven so seven means what it will do up to six position so it is getting all the values is it clear so this is how the thing is been calculated this is how the length has been calculated and it gives the output in this way how the address has been calculated for each of the values that has been given so this is the thing what you can find this is the part what you can find that in each of this part each of this section what you have you have got a list what is there 10 50 75 83 i have given some numbers okay so now what i have done i have called one for loop x in list print x so what to print all the values what are there those the values are been printed here okay so this is how you can do this is how you can implement the list and you can work with the list and you can do the traversing of the list clear so uh, this is the traversing of the list in the list section now dear student you can see here that when i am doing a traversing one program i have done for you that are the more simple program this is little bit complex i have done it from them you can see here that i have done a traversing of the list 
So in this particular traversing of the list, what I have taken are list two. I have you can say sir, why list two? You can give list one. Yes, I can give it the list one. I have given the list two. Any pattern of name so that there should not be any pattern of confusion to you that what will be the name of the list if it is a list list one a, a list a different type of name i have given you have seen it okay so what i have taken here i have taken the different alphabets okay i have taken the different alphabets now what i have done is i have taken n equals to length lst2 the length is measured what is the length of it clear length of lst2 now i am traversing it for i in range what up to how much up to n what is the n n is the length of that particular length of this particular list what has been taken okay length of this particular list what has been taken so print list to i so that we are going to print it now what to do total i am giving one heading total now print n so what are the total number of characters Okay, what are the total number of character? Let's see what is the output of it. So this is the output of the particular program. Here, yeah, the program that I have done a little bit uh, length, little bit, uh, little bit uh, critical program. Okay, so critical we cannot say in that way, not so much critical. It is uh, not so easy that one or two line statement, but combination of some line statements. So not uh, that way we can say a program is little bit lengthier program. Okay, so this is what we can get, how we can get the output. So the output is what? Learn Python and then what is the total number of character? We get here 12. Okay, so this is the particular thing that you can get and you can find it that we can use this particular thing for so dear student uh, this is what i have uh, shown you how uh, i can do the program and you can also able to do the program so uh, this is the uh, particular programming with uh, using the traversing of the list in the particular implementation of list in python panda So thank you student, I am ending the session here. Thank you all very much.